Hi, my name's Blair Connor, and I'm an Applications Engineer with Texas Instruments DLP. Today, I'm going to show you how to get started using the LightCrafter 4500. First, to get started, you'll need a 12-volt power supply capable of supplying 5 amps. See our user's guide for more details and a recommended part number. You'll also need a mini USB cable. To power the LightCrafter 4500, take the barrel connector and attach it to the evaluation module. Once, once you plug it in, you'll notice that the fan turns on, off, and then turns on again. You should also see a green LED blinking on and off, indicating that it's operating correctly. Please note that if you don't see a projection from the evaluation module, check jumper 30 to see if it's connected. If it is connected, remove it, and that'll enable the LED drivers. After you've powered the LightCrafter 4500, you can connect a USB cable to the device. Then, go to ti.com slash DLP to download the latest GUI for the LightCrafter 4500. You'll see on the tool page for the LightCrafter 4500 that the latest GUI and reference designs are available. The reference design includes a schematic and the board layout for the evaluation module. After you've downloaded the zip file, extract its contents and use the installation executable to install the LightCrafter GUI. Then, to run the LightCrafter 4500 GUI, you'll go to your C drive, Texas Instruments, DLP, and then DLP LCR 4500 GUI. The version number may change. After you've entered this directory, double click on the LightCrafter 4500 application. Within the application, you'll notice two main areas. You have a top section with overall global settings for the device and more specific settings using the tabs at the bottom. The system status shows that the device is connected. Once the device is powered and you've plugged it into the USB cable, there's no need to push any buttons. It'll automatically connect. Then below that, you'll see the firmware version that you're using and also a variety of flags to give you more information about how the device is operating. You can change the operating mode in the GUI, such as video mode, pattern sequence mode, and power standby. You can also set the image orientation and change the orientation of the projected image. You can also control the LED driver to affect its brightness and color override settings. In the tab area, you can select your input source for the video and also configure it. You can create pattern sequences and from the pattern sequence tab you can also set your triggers. Peripheral control, you can set GPIOs and then we have a tool that allows you to take smaller bit depth patterns and combine them into a full 24-bit image. From the image firmware upload tab, you can attach these images to the firmware file and then upload the firmware file to the LightCrafter 4500. For more information about using the DLP LightCrafter 4500, visit ti.com slash DLP and read the user's guide regarding the LightCrafter 4500. If you have any more questions, please visit our E2E forum. Thank you.